Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, there's something I've always been wanting to do for a long time, and it's been to take uh, a high gloss paint like this Rust Oleum here and flatten it. Uh, Rust Oleum has like matte black and they have semi gloss, but I don't think they have like flat or any other colors in flat. And what I have here. This is uh, Chromatic Specialty Products, and this is Clear Flattening Paste. And this is used with one shot. And you can mix this one-to-one -one with one shot, and it'll make one shot completely flat. It will take the shine right out of that. And one shot is a high gloss, slow dry enamel. So I thought I would uh, do the same thing, mix it one-to-one -one with some Rust-Oleum, and see what kind of a uh, See what we can do with that. So I've already taken some and put it in, mixed it in cups, and uh, made a bit of a mess out of it. But uh, it'll work. You know, I'm doing this. I just, I'm just eyeballing this. I didn't uh, measure this out. So what I'm going to do is mix the flattening paste with the rustoleum that I have in this cup. And we're going to uh, test on this guitar body here. This guitar body is going to be another project that I'm making some videos on probably. And I thought it'd be cool to make this thing flat red. Because I've never seen a flat red guitar. I've seen a satin finish, stained red guitar, but I've never seen one that was just flat red. So, we'll mix this up. The other thing that sucks about this is whenever you're, you know, you mix something one to one like this, you uh, you double the amount of material that you have. So I've got more material than I actually need. So like I said, this is uh. Since this is rust still it's gonna take a while to dry. We'll see what we can uh, come up with here. Now I'm not worried about what this looks like on the back of the guitar. This guitar has to be sanded down again and it's got to get primer put on it and all that fun stuff so this flattening paste seems to have made the paint just a little bit thinner not much but just a little bit of course i'll be spraying this i won't be uh i won't be painting it uh with a brush Just for reference, I'm gonna right up here flat with an arrow pointing here. Now we're gonna go straight out of the can. Use lid as a palette. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a while. 
and we will come back and check on it. All right, so this paint has been drying for nine and a half hours. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm trying to get an angle in the light just right, but this this side here is completely flat. There is no shine to that whatsoever. Did it shine? A little bit of some bubbles and stuff on that. That's all right. I brushed it on. It's going to come off anyway. But it's how shiny that side is. That side, not so shiny. Right there. That's that product right there. Mixed a one to one ratio with the uh, rust oleum will give you a completely completely flat finish now this is it's a little blotchy but it's probably because I brushed it on I don't I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, if it gets sprayed on it has a uh, better result I might uh, mix up a little bit of this and put it through an airbrush and see uh, let's see if that helps now I'm out here in my garage. It's 73 degrees, 65%, 60, 63% humidity. So it's kind of high. Well, yeah, it took uh, nine and a half hours for this to dry. And according to the label on a can, that's about standard for Rust Oleum, unfortunately. I imagine you could add a hardener to it. Um, you can buy, I think, a universal <clears throat> hardener. I've seen people use a uh, Valspar hardener, and uh, uh, I actually have a universal enamel hardener from a, a paint store here in St. Louis um, that will probably work. Uh, you can probably also put Japan dryer in it, and uh, that might help reduce the drying time on it. But uh, I think with some red oxide primer, I think once I get this... Uh, uh, filled in and finished the way I want to finish this guitar body with some uh, red oxide primer should help uh, should help this red pop and should make it a little more not a little more red but uh, uh, I think that uh, flattening paste kind of thins it out a little bit and reduces some of the opacity of the paint so anyway uh, I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you have any questions Feel free to ask and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Y'all have a great day.